What's up guys? Welcome back to another uh, another episode in my Road to 100 Million Gold series. So, this week we had the <laughs> the death of Corthite crystals. Uh, so obviously that's impacted my sales numbers. We'll, uh, we'll, well, we'll just dive in and take a look. They're gonna be... Uh, so they're, they're smaller than last week, but they're not that bad. And that's the good thing. So here is the sales breakdown and of course the number one thing we see is we're down at 4.3 mil compared to almost six last week so that's a good chunk down and obviously most of it is on on drainer because that's where most of my sales are still but it's not that much down actually if we go back two weeks um to week uh, 36 my sales were less than 4 million so even though rank 5 and 6 prices absolutely collapsed this week Due to Corthite crystal uh, supply increasing, they doubled or something the rate you got Corthite cry crystals, as far as I could read. Um, so Corthite crystals are down to 400 gold from like about 2000 was typically where I was buying them, like 1800, something like that. Uh, so just an absolute collapse in value, like some of the rank 6 tailoring stuff is selling for like 40,000 gold now. Uh, and that's profitable with the current prices. So uh, that's an epic collapse. Of course, we should see some higher sale rates due to this, generally. I'm not sure if I've seen that. I didn't look that way when I was looking at my restocking stuff. But uh, it's going to make it more enticing to get more rank uh, 6 legendary. So we might see more people do that. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much why this number is down. Of course, we've lost gold. And that's because I bought too much materials today. I bought a huge amount of Corthite crystals. I don't even know why I bought that much Corthite, because <laughs> I'm not planning to... I wasn't close to running out of vestiges. Actually, I ran, I'm ran. i almost out of vestiges ju just after buying, but that's more of a coincidence almost. Um, so I uh, probably didn't need to restock that yet. If I didn't hadn't done that, we would have been looking at a slight increase. Now we're looking at a decrease. Um, I did manage to <laughs> repost my auctions twice on my off realms, and it gave me nothing. It's it's so low value at this point. It's like, is this even worth it? I don't know. Uh, it's barely worth it to do these reposts. Probably is. It's like, it's like a hundred k ish profit a week for just like an hour less than that, less than that. So so probably worth it. Just not very exciting. Um, 4.2 mil on um, on Draenor, about 500k from um, from Chain Dial Crafters Mark gear, and then the rest from Legendaries, and that's it. And since we ended up losing a little bit of gold on Draenor, we did not make it to my second gold cap, so we're probably at this point. We're gonna be doing. I'm guessing that it will see the same thing that uh, when we were approaching gold cap, or when I was approaching gold cap. And what happened? Like, okay, next week I'll probably gold cap and then <laughs> stagnation. Next week I'll probably gold cap and then another week of stagnation. Um, so yeah, next week I might gold cap or I might just stagnate again. Who knows? I shouldn't need more quartzite crystals. I should generally speaking not need that many materials, but we'll just have to see. We will just have to see. Obviously, I'll keep spending materials or sp keep spending on materials consistently because. Well, crafting never ends. Legendaries never end. They're still super profitable. Um, so, yeah. Um, that's cool. The best realms this week. Ravencrest continues to be good. I think this was one of the few realms where I actually got sales in more than one um, more than one round of sales, essentially. Um, so, that's, that's something, at least. That's something, at least. Uh, I know that I got about 16k for each of my repost scans. So it's possible I should just like do it more often on, on Ravencrest where I have a lot of materials. Uh, I do need to buy materials here again though because my gold has just been tre steadily trending upwards on Ravencrest. Very disturbing. Um, an alternative is of course to just turn more of my realms into Ravencrest-like realms. Or just have uh, build up slowly a very large stockpile of old world materials. That's something I can consider. Because it is what's giving the most consistent sales. Not the largest, not the most uh, spectacular or big ones, but it is the most consistent ones. So um, that's something to consider. Alright, so let's uh, let's jump in on my crafter a little bit. Or not my crafter, my banker. This is interesting. I <laughs> the graph here is kind of funny. 
Um, so this is like patch 9.1. Chuk chuk. I'd stagnated so long just before 9.1. Um, on my gold here, like we had launch of Shadowlands, or uh, rather, launch of Shadowlands stagnation, and then explosion, and then stagnation, and then explosion. So probably will stagnate again soon. Um, who knows? All right, we were gonna look at the ledger. Obviously, my inventory. We have 1.7 million, actually a little bit less than that. Divide that by uh, by two-ish, at least. Um, so I have a good chunk of Corthite crystals ready to to rumble. We have, obviously, all of my legendaries. If we're looking at the revenue from the last seven days, um, I mean, you don't have to be a PhD to figure out that this is going to be dominated by expensive legendaries sold five days ago. <laughs> because... Recently, the price has collapsed. Interestingly, I think some of these... Uh, I think some of these rings are actually uh, rank 4. Some of these 58k rings, I think these are actually rank 4. So they are very good. They represent some uh, some top-notch value. Right there, and then we sold some Sky Golems. We sold this one. This was an interesting... A throwback to BFA. One of the, unca one of the uncanny combatant pieces. Uh, very nice profit. 30k or 28k 27k profit or whatever um i have no idea how much gold i've spent keeping this one on the auction house since <laughs> since bfa but uh, hey i'll take it that's a very nice chunk it's like 1600 gold crafting cost still um so we might uh, look into some more of those weapons i don't know i also i think i also sold an atv i did bring one of my atvs out of the bank uh, posted it, it's literally instantly sold. We might consider uh, crafting through some more or just posting some more of the ones I have in my bank. Uh, the price is approaching a level where I'm like happy selling it um, for 10k. So uh, so we might do that and start churning through the rest of the expulsion I built up at the end of, uh, uh, of BFA. That's certainly something to consider. So um, yeah, I think like this week is just going to be more of this... This right here is is where the money is at. This rank 5 and 6 legendaries are so competitive on, on high pop realms. Actually, there's a few here that haven't been undercut, which is sort of surprising. Usually when I do this, within 5 minutes, everything's been undercut or I've gotten some sales. Uh, if I don't get the sale within 5 minutes, then it's pretty much going to be undercut. Um, and then rank 4s have been absolutely fantastic as far as sale rate. They've definitely been selling way better than the rank 5s and 6s lately. Uh, better than any other rank of legendary. Of course, the profit might is not always that great. Uh, as you can see, there's a huge number here with, uh, with a price below the minimum price, uh, sadly. But uh, there's, still, uh, there's still gold to be made. There's still gold to be made. So, um, so that's, um, that's something at least. We'll just have to uh, to keep going, but um, so yeah, that's it for this week. Uh, I'm kind of happy with uh, the fact that we did beat not last week, but the week before that, where we didn't have four. Um, we had 3.8 million, I think, on uh, on drainers. We beat that, so I'm really happy about that. Obviously, with with how prices are going on on legendaries, we will not be seeing uh, weeks of the same magnitude that we had. They'll be going downwards. Probably looking at something like, um, I'll be happy with 4 million weeks going forward, most likely. Because I just don't have the time or the inclination to, to repost scan enough to really bring in the bacon with uh, the current uh, pricing. So we'll just have to live with that. Um, but at least we're, we're still getting gold. We're still getting almost all the gold on Draenor. Uh, this isn't reflected in how much go my gold is on Draenor. Like, I'm getting a huge percentage of my sales, but... Uh, actually, less than half of my gold is on Draenor. So, uh, with this low of a profit, with with not getting any profit this week, that's obviously going to continue not being um, as large of a portion of my gold as it should be. So, hopefully, uh, this coming week we won't be spending as much gold on materials, and we'll see some some movement in my uh, in my raw gold that I have on me. But um, we'll see. Either way, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Leave a like. Leave a comment down below, it really helps me out. Subscribe to the channel, share this video with your friends who wants to get an inside view into how you try to get towards 100 million gold. I will see you on the next video. Goodbye, guys!